<laughs> where's your where's your badge? Hey? Where's your badge? Did <laughs> you enjoy that? Hi YouTube, how are we all doing? Well, this is the uh, the video of the test ride of this beauty, the BMW R1250RT. I've been looking forward to test riding this, so I hope I like it because I test rode the FJR on the last video. Absolutely loved the FJR. There's a few things I didn't like about it which we'll talk when we do a comparison but overall I actually really liked it first impressions quite like it feels comfortable uh, just been on the motorway absolutely no wind at all with this screen up you know it's blowing a gale at the moment here and I'm not joking you dispatch of this gentleman uh, it feels it's got a load and load of torque I mean, it really is quick. It feels very, very smooth. It doesn't feel like a twin at all. Uh, around town, I'm in road mode at the moment. Uh, I haven't got into dynamic mode yet. But it feels very nice. Whoa, bloody hell. That's got a lot of power, this. Uh, yeah, it certainly goes like stink. First impressions, very, very, very comfortable. Uh, it's very nimble as well, actually. Feels very similar to the DeVille, as in seat and position. The, uh, you know, the power's there if you need it. There's a dynamic mode which I haven't tried yet, but according to this, I'm getting, uh, it's reckon it's doing over 50 to the gallon, which is what you need on tour, really. But that speed on said is, uh, you touch the throttle and she just goes, but it feels comfy. I haven't quite um, got used to the feel of it yet. It took me a while to get used to the uh, FJR, to be honest with you. She's very, very nimble. She, she feels very planted. Very, very planted. Can't get used to the gears, though. There's a speed limit down here, 60. She's lovely. So far. I don't like that aerial thing, I mean the model I'm looking to buy hasn't got that on it, you know, so um, I'm not going for the radio, but dashboard seems nice, I like the dash, I haven't figured out how to get the, uh, the speed up in the middle bit yet, apparently you can have the speed up on here as well as uh, on your main clocks, you know. I'm just going to go and uh, meet and Ray because we're going to go and have a quick ride. It feels very, very similar to the Deville. It's a twin. So far, I like it. It's a big bugger. And here he is on his new BMW. Well, he hasn't bought it yet. This is what I hope I got him drop it here now with him stood there. It's price to let him out on it, to be fair. It does look alright though, doesn't it? Spotlights and everything. You alright? It's bloody huge, mate. Pardon? It's like an armchair. Is it? Yeah. Do it's your back a bit of good, wouldn't it? It does. I tell you what, it goes it's bloody quicker than the FJR. Yeah. It goes like stink. 
They're supposed to have a, a speedometer in the middle as well, but I don't know how to put that on yet. Yeah, it'll be one of your options, won't it? Yeah, it is, but f***ing knows where that is, mate. No, no, you'll find it when you buy it and you get your book. The one I'm looking for hasn't got that stupid aerial. What's the aerial for? A radio. All right, OK. <laughs> it's got a radio. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just turn this around, mate. Looks big enough, doesn't it? The only thing I don't like is, see where the side stand is? Yeah. When you're sat in it, you can't see it. When you're sat on the bike? Yeah, but it might just be me. Well, where does it go? No, it goes up, it's just that when you're sat on it... Yeah. It, this... Oh, that's in the way. Can't see it, you've got to get your foot right... Ugh. Well, is it any different than mine? Probably not, actually, mate, no. It's probably in the same... If you look, it's in the same position, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, the only difference, if I decide to go for it, hasn't got those seats on it. Um, that's a different type of seat. Yeah, you have to pay extra for that, do yeah, you? That's a, but the normal seat's just as comfy. Yeah. And it doesn't have the aerial on it. Yeah, looks a bit silly, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look a bit silly. Does it play MP3s? Yeah, yes, it links into your phone, so you can play everything right. from your phone. Yeah. Um, other than that... Drain your battery while camping, yeah. then. But for a twin, it doesn't vibrate. No, no. No vibration at They've all. They've been building them like that. You know the, the horizontal opposed twins? Yeah. Since I've started riding. That's so how your sat-nav goes there. Yeah. I saw it on um, the Missenden Flyers. Oh, yeah, he did a good review. He loved it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I can't get used to this um, blipper clutch thing. Wait, oh, for changing your gears? Yeah, because uh, you can change your gear without... Um, without touching the gear lever. You've got a first and second, one you in third. It'll just and it'll adjust the revs automatically. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's going to take a bit of getting used to it. It's a completely different riding style. Hello, YouTube. Right, well, I've been joined by Ray for this little uh, little test as well. So, um, just been up to Ray's to go and uh, show him the bike. Well, I mean, the model I'm getting is not going to have the aerial on it. I don't know about anybody else thinks of uh, radios, but not really my uh, cup of tea. Uh, anyway, we're going to uh, have a quick read. I'm going to go back and get the wife at some point. I've got this till four o'clock, so uh, there's a few things I'm still trying to get used to on this. Uh, uh, <laughs> you get to the junctions, there's one thing as well, it's a handbrake. I still can't get used to uh, the bike, it's just taking a little bit to get used to it, but... As a whole, it rides absolutely lovely. Uh, the screen is lovely. The feel is right. It's got loads of power. Absolutely loads of power. But around town, uh, it's it's fine. It doesn't doesn't feel like at all. We're doing 30 now, you know, and it's uh, I mean, this bike we've got here is a brand new. It's only done 184 miles, so. I think by the time I uh, get back, I'll get used to it. I assume he's coming here for fuel. It's a lovely bike to ride, and uh, just takes a bit of getting used to. The mirrors are fantastic on it. The screen's brilliant. The ride is superb. Uh, it's just a few little bits I've got to try and get used to. One of them is this bloody gearbox. I don't know. I don't know what that does. Some sort of USB jobby. Right, well I've just discovered why I stalled it before. <laughs> uh, it's got this handbrake system. It's like a hill assist. Now, <laughs> I thought it was just me. Apparently what I'm doing is I'm putting the... Uh, when I've been holding the front brake at somewhere, it's been putting the handbrake on and I've gone to pull away and the bloody thing's on so yeah I'll get used to it get used to it somehow I must admit it is actually quite nice having that handbrake system on there still haven't figured that out anyway Me and Paul don't have voice recorder today, so we can't be talking to each other. 
which means he doesn't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Not that I'm going to say much, to be fair. So he just filled up in Frodsham. He's discovered he's got a handbrake on his bike. Now he's going to go heading back to his house. Anyway, for the lovely uh, place of uh, the little town of Frodgham. So, so far, I'm liking the bike. Uh, it's quite nice. Road mode's quite nice. I haven't gone into dynamic mode. I think that would be for things like the N621, that type of thing. You know, dynamic mode. Come on, mate. Out the way, there you go, it's an empty road. Hopefully I'll get through here the same as me. Um, then I'll turn and get back on the motorway, I think. Uh, I think I know the way from Stoughton, so I'll get off at Stoughton. get us to his house some decent roads and without uh, taking too long the suspension feels nice it's just lovely and smooth Screens. I think around town the screens great about the So my overall impressions then well it has got loads and loads of grunt I am in my rain mode at the moment go to road it's got absolutely loads of grunt this thing uh, dynamic mode dread to even think it's full on power that is oh the horns man oh, I don't think where I am man. I'm getting used to it now. Pardon? I'm getting used to it now. Yeah? You only did that first overtake you did. Yeah. I was too busy looking at the menus. <laughs> but the others, that, that, it wants to pull you back. Yeah. I keep feeling like I'm sliding. Did you enjoy that straight run down there? Well, I kept up with you, didn't I? Pardon? Kept up with you. Yeah? Bumpy or what? Hey, go on. Oh well, he's in front, it's his choice now. Sounds quite good, I have to admit. <laughs>